Okay, hello all. In this video, you will think that uh, I will not teach you any reason, but at the same time, we will use all this reason that we have learned uh, in the last chapter, chapter 6, and also the last chapter, uh, the last part is called 11.1, and then after that, you will use all these four reasons in your question. Which four reasons we're going to use once again, I write down for you all. The first one is called adjacent angles on straight line. That means you are going to use for any straight line they add together, you will see the answer is three uh, 180 degree. The second one I want you to learn is called the angles at a point. That means for every point you add all these angles, you will have 360 degree. The third one is called the vertical opposite angles. That means for every cross, you will see the answer, they will have the equal angle for the opposite angle. The last one, we know that we will have, the last one is called the angle sum of triangle. We learned this in chapter 6. That means for a triangle, all these angles add together will be 180 degrees. So we are going to calculate and we are going to find x with this for reason for the teaching example 11.7. So every time in this question we are going to do is that we will find x and then we have two ways to do this. But first of all, let us do it in a simple way. The first of all, we are going to find the x immediately and we know that the one you know is that what can we do in your examination? Look at the figure. Obviously, you see the vertical opposite angle immediately. And you know that this one must be 65 degree. Okay, so we find this one is the first one. Okay, we can draw some uh, signal for your uh, question. For example, this may be the one. So then you can write this is the first step you're going to do. And then you can write it down immediately. And But you can think it first before you uh, do the question because otherwise you'll find many troubles. And then we know that this one is 335. What are they doing? Ah, uh, this one may be 25 degrees because they add together will be 360 degrees. Okay, so we have these two angles. And we are going to still find x, but this angle is not related to x directly. This one is not related to x also. So why don't we have r? Ah, maybe we can find these angles also because with this triangle, we can use the angle sum of triangle. These three angles add together will be 180 degrees. Okay, so why don't we write that? Ah, this one is called 25 and 65. Ah, I think that this one is 90. Oh, I know that x is 90 also because this is a straight line. So this is the first step. This is the second step. This is the third one, and this is the last one. Okay, so why don't we do it together, one by one? Okay, let's look at this question. The first one, we must find this 65 degree. What is this angle? The angle name we call is called BFD. Okay, we write down BFD. Someone say that, ah, Mr. Tim, can I just write angle F? The answer is no, because for angle F, you will see there are four angles of it. You can go BFDSF. You can call BFCSF. You can call uh, AFD is also F. You can call uh, CFA is F. So CFA is also F. So I will not allow if more than one angle can be called F. I'm sorry about that. This is not allowed. Okay. This one is not allowed to write just F. So you must add them BFD. Okay. So every time. So if you don't want to find any trouble, this time I always write this three capital letter angle. I will not just write one angle because it's very stupid. Every time I must tell you that, every time you must do your test and you, you must need to check, ah, do I need to write one capital letter or three capital letter? I'm sorry about that. I will not waste time on it. I just write down all these three angles and then I will go to the next part of it. So we have equal to 65 degree vertical opposite angle. This is the first part. The second angle we are going to calculate is this one F D B. Okay, angle F D B. Okay, we have this angle plus three three five degree. We equals three sixty degree. This one is called angles at 
a point. That means because on a point, these two angle F together is 360 degrees. So you have angle FDB, we can directly write because we calculate before. This one is 25 degrees. So you solve the problem. And then we're going to use the angle sum of triangle. We add these three angles together. And the angle we're going to find is FBD. So angle FBD plus the second one, 25 degrees plus 65 degrees we equals 180 degrees. This one is called adjacent angles on straight line. Okay, so you have solved the problem almost. So you know that this is 90 degrees. Why don't we already done? Angle FBD is equal to 90 degrees. Ah, uh, this one is not adjacent angles on straight Mr. Tempest is wrong. So what is the answer for this one? Uh, I think the answer of this one is called angle sum of triangle. So make sure that you must use the correct one. Otherwise, I will deduct your mark. So the Mr. Tem is, deduct Mr. is deducting Mr. Tem's mark now. Okay, so this is angle sum of triangle. So last one is called the adjacent angles on straight line. So you have x plus 90 degrees will equal to 180 degrees. This time is adjacent angles on straight line. Okay, so finally you got x is 90 degrees. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven steps. Okay, uh, for form one, two, then you are almost right about six to eight steps. And for form two, you have more steps. Okay, so make sure that you know how to think. That means every time you must draw something like this. You can do this just like a multiple choice. And then after that, you must know how to write down all this reason. Don't write a wrong reason. Okay, just like me. Okay, now this is short term. We're going to the correct practice and I'll give you 30 seconds ah, I think that I'll give you one minute this time you must think it and you must know how to do this Okay, now we will discuss the answer for this correct practice 11.7. If you cannot finish, just pause the video now. Okay, now let's show our thinking. First of all, once again, we can immediately write down this is 56 degrees. Okay, this is part one. Okay, we can call this first step the vertical web pussy angle. We use it. Okay, the second one we know that this is 120 degrees. This one is a straight line. Ah, I think that this one is 54 degrees immediately because we add them together will be 180 degrees. The reason we use is adjacent angles on straight line. Ah, we have this triangle, we have three angles so that we can use the angle sum of triangle to find x. And then the x must be 80 degrees. Okay, now so this is the first step, this is the second step, this is the first step. Okay, so we can write down this one by one. Okay, for the first step, we want to write down angle ACB. ACB will equal to 56 degrees. The reason is called vertical opposite angles. The second step we are used is that we are going to find the 54 so that we use ABC this time. Angle ABC plus 126 degree will be 180 degree. The reason is called adjacent angles on straight line. This one I will not use wrong because only two angles here. So obviously we know that immediately. Okay, two angles. So we know that this is adjacent angles on straight line. Okay, angle ABC, we have five because it's 54. So this is 54 degree. Okay, finally, we add these three together. X plus 56 degree plus 54 degrees and equals 180 degrees. This one is angle sum of 
triangle. So, finally, we find that x is equal to 80 degree immediately. I uh, hope you that all know how to do this question. In this question, you must think it on the picture and you can draw something like this and find out which one is the easiest way to use. But most of the time, you must remember all the reason and you must take, take, take which one you can use and which one you cannot use. In this way, we do not use the angle support because we do not use the 360 degree and we never see. So why don't we use just three reasons, okay? Uh, thanks for watching in this video. I uh, hope you that all know how to do some difficult ones. So before we go to the next topic, you must make sure that you know how to use these three reasons and not these three. This is four reason well. Otherwise, you will find very trouble in the next part of it, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.